Mass, thanks for sitting down with us. You're, you're back at Ipswich Town. How pleased are you? No, I'm very pleased. Um, it's been, I think, oh, 10 years or so, so it's great to be back. Uh, yeah, just um, excited to finally get it done and just help the team get promotion. And you've been training with the club for a few weeks now as well. How's that been? Yeah, good. Uh, the manager gave me a call and wanted to get me in just to see how I, how I got the feel for the club and the players and just said a lot has changed and, and the way things, the way they're doing things around the club and that has, has changed as well. So got the call, I thought for sure I want to I be in a team that's doing well and um, obviously coming from Middlesbrough, you knew Carrick really well and so they both spoke and, and decided like it would be a good, good opportunity for me to come in. And playing in that, in playing in training and maybe watching clips of the team this season as well, how do you see yourself fitting into that team? Um, to be fair, like, I've been really impressed with the team. Um, I follow them from afar, obviously coming from Sheffield Wednesday and it's been so tight at the top of the table. Uh, it, the, I've, I've understand that they play two in midfield, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I'll be involved in one of them too. Mm. Um, but yeah, just at the moment, I'm just here to help and, and, and to try and achieve the goal, getting promotion. And uh, if that's for one minute to see out a result, then it's for one minute, or if it's to start a game and, and to just continue the good work that the, the midfielders have already done. So um, it's not a lot of different things that I can offer that I haven't really been doing, but I'm just hoping to add a, an experienced head um, and someone who's, who's, who's been there and played a few games in this league that can, that can help. You mentioned that experience and you are vastly more experienced than what you were when you first came to yeah. Ipswich as well. How much is that uh, going to add in the dressing room? Uh, I, hope, I hope a lot. Um, I've noticed uh, there's Cam Humphrey's a young boy been playing, so I think I can help a lot with, with, with younger players. And Lead by example is one of them. Um, I love training. I love being out there every day. <laughs> so I just, if, if anything, if the young lads can just see me the way I'm, conducting myself and I think that's a good uh, foundation to golf. Just looking back at that first spell you had at the club, what are your memories of that? Um, it was my first kind of first team football environment. There were some big names. I remember big names at, 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 at this club at the time. Uh, yeah, it just, it wasn't easy. I remember it, it being real tough for me. Um, started really well and then I think the manager got sacked and a new manager take over and that was my first experience of that. So that was a new thing for me. Um, yeah, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed everyday training and coming in and um, sort of being a man, which I was probably still a boy at the time. So, uh, yeah, it was, it, it was interesting, but it was definitely a big learning curve for me. Someone you'd already met at that time was Kieran McKenna, who yeah. football works in weird ways, is obviously the man manager here now. Yeah, so briefly, at Spurs, we, we crossed paths. Um, I was on loan a lot of the time, but uh, he says he, he's kept track of my career this whole time. And uh, we played Ipswich last year at Sheffield Wednesday and uh, we won at home. So we, we crossed paths then and we had a good conversation then. So, um, yeah, I think we've always had mutual uh, friends or mutual people in football. So uh, we've always crossed paths or our names have always been brought up, so, which is funny how things work yeah. Of course it's a different team this season to what it was last season but what was it like for you playing against a Kieran McKenna at Ipswich team? Um, never had the ball. <laughs> um, it was always, uh, we scored early I remember mm. and uh, you know we were just happy just to sit out the game and, and, and try not to concede which which I'm, I'm guessing most of the teams in this league if they can manage to score against Ipswich then that's what they'll do but uh, yeah, I remember just never having the ball and trying to get on the counter-attack and it was difficult. It's always been difficult. Um, yeah, but it was, uh, from what I've seen this year, like I think a possession-based team, um, exciting, you know, throwing bodies forward and stuff like that, uh, which is, in this league, I think you need that to get out of it. You know the manager. Is there, are there many of the players that you know already? Uh, I've come across a lot through playing against or... Playing, I played with Caden Jackson at Swindon when you were both starting out. So that goes that's 10, nine years ago. So um, I'm trying to think now, 
Uh, but yeah, just come across a lot of them through playing against with folk for a few years. Obviously, like, as we said at the start, you've been training for a few weeks now. Are you, are you ready to go pretty much straight away? Yeah, yeah I'm ready to go. Um, we got this done, looking forward to the FA Cup game. So hopefully I can be involved. Um, yeah, I've come in early just so I can get the, the head start and try and get up to speed with all the rest of the lads. And just finally, you mentioned the game on Saturday. How much are you looking forward to making your second debut at the stadium that's right behind you? No, it's good. Uh, I can't wait. Um, it's funny because when I made my debut last time, mm. I've only just got the little plaque that, or whatever it is, yeah. that, um, now, 10 years later. So it'd be nice to get a little another one from that and compare. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Can't wait.